Elizabeth, and this is your children's message for today. And uh, thank you all for coming forward. We're a, we're a small group today. We're a great group today. Okay. And I brought a lesson today. I found this book in my library, The Little Makana. And what do you think it's about? It's about the baby. Yes. And the, the, the author says... She, dedicates this to her little Makana, my own Makana, Elijah Gabriel. And uh, there's a wondrous word in the Hawaiian language for gift, and that is Makana. And there once was a little Makana in his mommy's womb, and he was so uuku that he was so tiny. Every day he would swim, and swim and swim, and swim and flip and flip want to hear the rest of the story, come to Vacation Bible School. <laughs> you were all a little Makana in your mommy's tummy one day, and so tiny, and so little, and uh, it's, today I have, let's pray. Lord, we thank you for making us wonderful, for making us so marvelously, and for knitting us together in our mother's womb, Lord, and Lord, we want to, I want to, um, let, let's look at your word today and, and see what you have to say about the little children. In Jesus' name, amen. There's a verse in the Bible in the King James that says, suffer little children, and then there's more to it than that, but that that's kind of scary to me. It always was a little scary to me, but it says, but here's the story. Jesus blesses little children. Then little children were brought to him that he might put his hands on them and pray. But the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not forbid them. For of such is the kingdom of heaven. And in the King James Bible, it says, suffer little children to come to me. Like the parents, the big people, they got to step aside and let the little children come to Jesus that he might put his hand on them, that he might pray with them. This is so important that it's recorded in three books of the, the three of the Gospels. And um, let me see if I can, oops. Yeah, it's, it's recorded in three Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. And then John talks about little children in his first letter. So uh, it says uh, in Mark, then they brought little children to him, that they might he might touch them. But the disciples rebuked those who brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was greatly displeased and said to them, Let the little children come to me and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of God. Assuredly, I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will by no means enter it. And he took them up in his arms, laid his hands on them, and blessed them. And in, in uh, Luke, he says, that Then they also brought infants to him, that he might touch them. But when the disciples saw it, they rebuked them. But Jesus called, to them, and, called them to him and said, Let little children come to me, and do not forbid them. For of such is the kingdom of God. Assuredly, I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will by no means enter it. And then John talked to the little children as he wrote his letter to the, um, to the community of saints, to the Christians, to, to the church. He writes, my little children, these things I write to you so that you might not sin. And then he says, I write to you, little children, because your sins are forgiven for his name's sake. And he says, now, little children, abide in him. Behold what manner of love the Father has given unto us, that we should be called children of God. So, little children, little gifts, all of you gifts to your families, gifts to the world from God, knit together in your mother's womb. Uh, the verse that I would like you to remember today is, suffer the little children 
Do not forbid them to come to me. And that's Matthew. Matthew 19, verse 14. Suffer the little children, or let the little children come to me, and do not forbid them. Let's pray. Father, we come before you as your children, old children and young children. We come as children to you. We look to you to direct us, to guide us, to lead us into everlasting life, Lord, as we as we submit ourselves to you, as we try to obey you, as we obey you to the best of our ability, Lord, give us that ability, Lord. Holy Spirit, come within us and show us the way that we should go and the way that we should walk. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen. You know, there's a song that I like to sing. I sang it to my child, my, my youngest child, when she was in my womb. I don't know if I sung it to the oldest ones. But the song is one you probably know. It's Jesus Loves Me. You know Jesus Loves Me? For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong. They are weak and foolish. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. You're dismissed to uh, Sunday school.